everybody, welcome back. It's another game of chess. Very pleased with our accuracy in that last game. Two mistakes, one inaccuracy. I can live with it. How do you play games of chess? Play? Changes you made may not be saved. That's fine. That's I, a new game, probably. You click the new game button. All right. We're ready to go. King Malk! <laughs> All right. King 23 Malik playing the D4, the Queen Pawn opening. I see we have a Netflix fan. Um, I am remembering... I'm, I'm relying on muscle memory right now to teach me how this works. I'll tell you, I love that right there. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. An interesting move. Hold on. You want to play a closed game, King Malink? You want to play a closed game? You want to be a closed game, Marty? Don't let me stop you, brother. <laughs> Don't let me stop you. I feel like we're we're in no man's land right now. And you know what? I'm here for it. Oh, baby. Am I here for it? That being said, I am also confused. Check this out. Check this out, dude. Check this out. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I just want you to do it. I want you to do it. <laughs> what? Um, I don't know what happens next. If I go here, he goes dunk. I go here. Okay, it's bad. No, it's not bad. It's good. In fact, it might even be great. I'm pulling it back. Check this out. Check this out, okay? Here's my thinking. He goes here. He thinks, I'm going to sucker him into a, into a trap. He's not going to sucker me. Interesting. Very interesting situation we find ourselves in. Definitely, we don't want to let him get his knight in here. Kind of a hard situation for us to account for regardless. Um, I, think we, I think we do do this, okay? Hear me out. We, we have to cap, uh, unfortunately, which means we're going to open this pawn up. Um, well, actually, you know, you know, we could do it like this then. I, I actually don't mind this. It does leave this pawn very susceptible. But this is an amazing position for our knight to be in. And he might want to do something like that. But then we And it forces our hand a little bit. But then we do get to trade knight. Honestly, it's a good move. It's a good move. I, I can't really be mad. I think that that was a strong play. I prefer this. Now the question is, can we can we force him to get screwed? <laughs> I think the answer is no. Uh, hold on. This is a this is under threat. Now th this is the danger, right? Like I'm in a I'm in a confused situation. I'll tell you what, brother. You want you want a tango? Let's not tango. Let's start do. Let's crump. Let's crump. Ah! That's a terrible move. <laughs> Truly horrible. But now look at it. What's this? What's this freaking queen gonna do, dude? What's this queen gonna do? Is trap behind enemy lines? So I would say that that is probably a blunder. Probably a massive blunder that honestly should result in us. Um, taking, taking some time, taking some time to think about our moves before we do them. It turns out that was, in my opinion, unwise. I'm going to be straight up with you. This is a resignation situation. You, you just beat me. I don't need the analysis on that one. Give me, a, oh, not a, not a rematch. <laughs> Give me a new one. That was a, a very embarrassing performance. I'm not afraid to admit it. Blunders happen though. Oh, okay. This guy, he's playing insanely fast. Are we going to match his tempo? Apparently, we're going to match his tempo. Just one of those situations where you go, you sure about that one? I'm not really trying to keep the speed up. I mean, this... Oh, he resigned. <laughs> He's challenged you to a rematch. I accept. Okay. So we... <laughs> um, we we're one and one 
four minutes into the video. You know, it's, that's, it's just how easy it happens right there. I understand. This is why you should not do what I did there. But you know what? Let's do it. Let's, let's push it. Let's push the limit. If you want to cap me on that one, I honestly, I, I think, I, oh, we got to be careful about that, though. If you want to cap me here, by all means, please do. It's a strange play. Um, he'll probably take with the bishop. Go ahead, cap it. Cap it. I think that's the best move, in my opinion, is capping it. <clears throat> it's just kind of weird. Like, the position we're in right now is just kind of strange. Not necessarily, like, bad. Just kind of strange. Like, his queen is completely blocked in. I've got, a, I've got a lot of ideas about where we go from here. Let's not forget about the, the opportunity to castle. Okay, now that's... To start... I, this is... It's the Nimzowich Larson attack, modern variation with bishop to b2 and knight to c6, which I'm sure we're all familiar with. It's one of those openings they teach you uh, the first day of chess school. Okay, so they're going to do a kingside push, basically. A little kingside push. Um... I don't really know where we go from here. But I do know it probably starts with something like this. Like I'm kind of I'm I'm flying blind. I'm in no man's land, but if they want to open the game up, then fine, let's open the game up, brother. All of a sudden, you know, your king is completely exposed here. Was this what you had in mind when you started to do the Nimzovich Larsen attack as the white pieces? It, I, like, I'm not mad, it's just, to me, is kind of like a strange play. And now you're in check. And now you're in checkmate. Alright. Diego, would you like to play again? Can't create a challenge because one of you is currently playing. I will <laughs> go to the analysis there. That felt, and I don't mean to be rude, that felt to me like a middle school chess game. And I know that sounds rude, but hear me out here. In, in a tournament-level chess game, even as a novice player, you know, you, you end up, you know, the first 10 moves, you know what you're doing. Maybe even the first 12. Um, you know what you're doing, right? Um, you're, you're just reciting. This one, I felt like we were off, off script early, and that's, you know, it creates an environment of chaos. So let's see. You did B3. I responded with E5, which is a book move. You responded with B2, which is a book move. I responded with c6, which is a book move. Honestly, I feel very good about this because I didn't know that this was a book move. I was just using my, my chess brain. f3 is excellent, but pawn to e3 is best. Okay, but f3 is good. e4 is best. Dude, now we're talking. All right. d4 is best. f6 is best. I'm so smart accidentally. e3 is best. But also, knight takes c6 is best. Okay, what do we do? d5 is excellent, but capping the knight is better. f3 is an inaccuracy. I agree with that assessment. Then we took your knight, which is best. You took our bishop, which is best. Or you took our knight, which is best. c5 is excellent. b2 is good. But the check is better. d6 is excellent. Dude, I'm so impressed with myself. Okay, that's a good move. We castled, which was best. I'm, I'm actually, like, I'm glowing right now. That's how proud I am of myself. H3 is excellent. D4 is best. And Zendaya is Michi. E takes D4 is a major mistake. This is where I was like, I got him. But that's not a good move. This is a better move. But we got lucky that he took this. We took that. And then where did we go from here? See, that was where things got mighty messy. You're supposed to do bishop to f2 and keep the game slow. Instead, all of a sudden, we're going quick. That's a blunder. And then, I mean, this is, that's checkmate. It's just that easy. Life comes at you fast. Life comes at you fast. All right, take me back to the report. Now, I've forgotten <laughs> where the new game button is. I'm like, where do you start a new game? The new game button. All right, take, take me back to play. 
new game. Here we go. We, we got time for one more. I We're 2-1 and one in this video, which is funny because I'm so embarrassed by our performance earlier. All right. Um, we are against somebody with a 1594 rating, which is really good. Um, it will auto-abort in 52 seconds. I was thinking. I was thinking about whether I wanted to play... Um, interesting. I was thinking about how I wanted to play this. I, I, we are off the books, off the, off the planet. Isn't he gonna freeze himself? I don't know what I'm doing now. I'll just own up to that. We're in the Halaj McDonald gambit, <laughs> which I am. Uh, unfamiliar with, to put it politely, but castling, it's always strong. It's always a strong move. Interesting. Very interesting. You know what? I'm willing to create Pawn Island, even though it does allow you to develop your knight. You still, you can't castle right now, so I'm not sweating that. Um... feel like we need to be able to develop our uh, bishop. You, you don't want me to go there, which is understandable. I wouldn't want me to go there if I weren't me either. Also gives us another space to develop our knight too. Let's get weird. Like this this one, I'm, we're, we're evaluating everything at runtime as of right now. I see the problem, by the way. <laughs> what the heck am I going to do with my bishop? Um... Yeah, we need, we need to find a way out for this bishop. Now that I have blocked uh, myself in. Um, and it probably looks like giving up this pawn. We are one pawn up right now, so I think we just accept it. I'm interested to see where this goes. Okay, hear me out. I take... You give me check. Probably a bad idea. I take you. But is this knight? It's now under threat from two, but it's defended by two as well. Let's do it. I'm, I'm okay with this right now. It's weird. Like, it's not not weird. But I am kind of okay with it. What are you doing with that knight? It's interesting, right? Well, you're threatening the bishop is what you're doing. Understandable move. Hear me out here. Let's do something like that. We got a really nice pressure point right there. We still got a... Well, actually... Eh, no, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> they might castle kingside. I don't know. I'll tell you. No, that's a, that's a bad move. You, you got your... You, you're... you're Hands got faster than your, your brain there. So you're, you're behind by a minute. That's no cause for real alarm, in my opinion. I think we get ready for something like that to put a lot of pressure on this knight, force it to at least temporarily be unable to move. So yeah, we're looking for a, for a queenside castle right here. I still like this. The queenside castle's weird, because like when you do it, it's going to expose your king right here. Might not seem like a big deal. Might not be a big deal. But it kind of feels like a big deal, right? This is a very strange game. Let's call it like we see it right now. This game is strange. I hate a lot of it. Um, I'd like this knight to leave. I'm willing to I'm willing to pay for it. I'm willing to pay my bishop for it, even though that seems like a bit of a spotty trade. Here's my play. It depends on what they do. <clears throat> but if they let's say they do nothing, which is not a good strategy, but you know, I'm still learning again. <laughs> we take, they take. We move you to here. And then things become very interesting. You could move this bishop, and then my queen is under threat. But if you move this bishop that's under threat by the knight, the rook takes queen. Very interesting. Complicated board state for somebody who's used only 100 seconds thus far. See, that's, that's a good move. That's an interesting move. It's forced my hand a little bit. 
I decided I was willing. Am I still willing? It's a thinking man's game. That's why they call chess the beautiful game. <clears throat> Basically, this is just a weird one. I can't help but think that that was actually like a horrible move. I, I think that they have made a fantastic move. And I think, believe it or not, I don't think we take this. I think it creates too much of a spicy situation when they move their bishop to here. Um, it forces our rook to move, but it also leaves a discovered attack on the knight from the rook. It, it creates a really bad setup. A, a setup that would be like potentially catastrophic um, for us in the future. Now, time is of, of the essence. Same as it ever was. Got to be mighty careful about the, the approaches we take here. This is a, a very strange move, to be sure. But I want to I wanna see how it plays out. <laughs> I want to develop my queen a little bit. I want to put them on the back foot. This pawn is a siren right now. It's not what you'd think. You got to be a little bit more cautious about how this is going. You're stacking up for an attack down the center file. Do I like this? I don't know, but we're doing it. This is an action. This is our fourth game of chess in 17 minutes. How about that? Okay, so I think we want to create a discovered attack. Uh, with our knight. I don't know where the heck we're going to move our knight to, to. To get this discovered attack. But it is what it is. Now this is something I hadn't considered. There are places we can move without losing the piece. But it's a, it's a touch weird. Um, like I mean this is a very similar move here. Gonna be honest, I think this is a situation where our, our best move is just falling back. So I think we actually lost quite a good deal of tempo on the way that we've approached this. Um, this bishop, I, I hate this bishop. I'll just I'm willing to say it. I just don't like it. Let's the time is starting to become a real concern. I, I think, like, neither of us are super stoked with how this game's going. I think both of us are like, this could be better. I kind of like my position. We're up a pawn. Our king's a little bit more protected. Our pawn structure is a little safer. You know, anytime you got pawns connected and, like, not disparate, that's good. Like, this situation is slightly vulnerable. Only the bishop is keeping it alive. Um, but, like, this pawn is... Like, it requires so much support. Now, this is interesting. Let's think about what, what they want to do with this, okay? They've put us into check. If we capture, what's going to happen? I don't know. But I do have to imagine they wouldn't just do this as a blunder. Um, let, you know, honestly, let's play it out. As long as we're safe from this, check, back up. Probably maybe they push the, the question here a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm willing to give it a try. Let, let's see if they've got a great attack planned. We knew that was likely to happen. Um, we are not facing checkmate, I believe, unless I've miscalculated. can't really blame you. <laughs> Situation kind of sucks. Um, but now I'm like, hold on. Like we, we got some we got some tempo and not of the tempo storm variety. I don't know about that for the record. 
But something had to... I checkmated myself. <laughs> good game. Good. It's a good game. Three blunders. Four mistakes. I mean, right off the get-go, like... Let, let's see how we did here, okay? That's standard. Oh, run the, run the analysis? Sorry. Not self-analysis. I'm embarrassed. I'm turning a little bit red here. My, my mistakes were obvious. I think I played a little too fast. We were in a good position there at the end, too. I, the, the thing I most want to see, like the early game, you know, I'm not sweating all that much. Everybody makes mistakes. You know, the mistakes are the way that you learn. 98%. It's possible chess.com went down again. Seems to happen fairly frequently. Unfortunately. Can we... Let's see. 98%. Depth equals 18. Is the game just so complicated that they can't... They can't figure it out? It's like this... Obviously, this is horrible. This is where the move got bad. But like... Here, hold on. Is this refresh? Reset. Can I do a refresh of the page? Analyze it. Okay, give it a sec. 14, 16, 17, 20. I feel like the chess.com servers are, are getting a little hammered right now. The game can't possibly be that complicated. It got stuck at 98% again. It, the game is just so complex, they've never seen it before. So, like, obviously here, this was kind of like, oh, a smart move in my head. Not true. They baited us with a trap. We should have taken... At which point, you know, we would have faced some trouble here, but we would have still been alive. I'm disappointed with myself, but you know what? We did okay. I, I'm not too mad about this. We had a 2-2 video, and, you know, our mistakes were due to massive blunders. That's something we can work on. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. The road to 1500 is still on. If you did enjoy it, I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. Click the like button, and I'll see you next time. See ya!